these projects are so ambitious. I'm curious, what was the biggest fight you had to take on to get what you needed? Uh, on sharp objects and on every project, there's always uh, fights. But I always, on every project now, I fight for a number of days of shooting. And 9 to 6, I don't want to shoot before 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. I'm 56. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> wow. Can I come I work on your horse? Uh, I didn't even know that was possible. Awesome. I, I start at 9 a.m. <laughs> this is so European. This is my, oh, this is my God, yeah. <laughs> You're from Montreal, right? It's got to so be, it's <laughs> gotta be a 9 a.m. call on the call sheet. If it's not 9, I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, but yeah, I'm a responsible filmmaker. And we yeah. finish at 6, and, so, and I fight for a uh, music budget. Because this, this, this is this is the nature of uh, of the storytelling, putting the music in the center of uh, the stories and on sharp objects. So it was this music budget, and we fought for Led Zeppelin for Led okay. Zeppelin to become the sound of sharp objects, and and then we fought for the house to have a very specific house that become almost that became almost a character, yeah. and. Uh, and, to, uh, and Amy needed to shoot in LA. So we found a house in Northern California. Uh, it was supposed to, it was taking place in, in, in the South, in, uh, in uh, Missouri. So we didn't find one over there. We built the house, the interior of the house with the porch on stage in LA. And we shot the exterior scenes uh, in Northern California. So that was a, that was a, a big, uh, a big expense, but HBO are such great partners, great partners, mm -hmm. and they're aiming for quality, and they're, uh, they know, yeah, and they're, they're, they know when, when it's time to take a decision, and all right, let's put money there, and they're... Uh, mm -hmm. Mark, tell me about how you worked with the actors when the material was so dark. How did you sort of help them um, handle that? Wait. Every project, uh, 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 on Dallas, there was a very damaged person there, the character of uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, it was about, it's a family story, Sharp Objects, where there, there's a history of abuse between the woman of the family. And so, of course, it, it, it comes from a book. And, uh, and we loved the book, and it was our, it was our Bible. So how we worked, uh, I mean, uh, Amy and I had a routine in the morning where we had to talk about the day as she was having two hours of makeup with all these scars, you mm -hmm. know, and, uh, on her body and, uh, and uh, talk about the day and the scenes and where she is, where, she, uh, where she's going, what's the uh, emotional uh, target, uh, uh, objective, uh, uh, goal today. <laughs> As a director, you're obviously making a million decisions a day, and, and you are the leader of this team. What do you do when you feel unsure? Have you ever stepped onto a project and thought, I'm, I'm not ready for this, and how did you deal with that? I think it's part of the job to feel unsure. The more I work, and, and I, I feel more confident about my tools and, uh, and the craft and how I'm going to shoot. I accept to be creative on the day before I needed to shot list, storyboard, and be creative before the day. But now, I don't shot list, I don't storyboard. I feel unsure sometimes and okay, but I know I'm going to figure it out with the actors and the crew. Oh. Choosing, choosing your film is choosing your lifestyle. It really is. How are you gonna? Yeah. Are you going to be happy waking up in the morning, doing Working this up. and serving right. it? And uh, I'm gonna be happy now because I want to start at nine a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nine a.m. That's what I was saying. But this is you're not happy when you wake up at five. <laughs> but this is the thing. Truly, I could never say that. I feel like I could never ask for that. Why? None of I, us could, by the way. I feel like I could <laughs> never <laughs> say. <laughs> Clint Eastwood like and you. you. Those are the yeah. only two people that could do that. I can never. I can never get away with it. No one's gonna. First of all, I would be seen as a diva, truly. Seen as a diva. I don't work before nine. I just not, can't. I not, think it's your accent. Not if, not if, <laughs> not if, <laughs> not if, not if, definitely the not accent. if you make your days. Because of your accent, yeah, man. Not if you is. make your days. Please, let's talk about how you do this and let's By the way, out. he's from the Bronx. He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's been acting his whole... Yeah. Hi, I'm Ben Stiller. I'm Ava DuVernay. I'm Patty Jenkins. I'm Adam McKay. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtables. Roundtable on YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube.